Hey guys, welcome back to the main cave with Big Kev. Thank you for tuning in. This episode is going to be about the K25 from Albinox and the fixed blade. Let's have a look. All right, so once again, a fixed blade knife here from Bloodvein Industries. This is very similar to the fixed blade that I did before with the black handle and black sheath. So let's go over a few differences here. So obviously the big difference here is it's green. We've got a uh, ripstop camo canvas here. The same as what's on my Tanto folder that I just reviewed. Uh, <clears throat> same sheath set up here with your molly strap. Uh, some molly that you can tuck it underneath there to stop it from unclipping. You've got your rope with toggle on there as well for multiple fixing points. You've got your K25 branded button here with the easy open sheath. And on the back there you've got some more molly for fixing options and your double snap and velcro flap there for your belt loop. So that's the sheath. It's got the K25 brand embroidered on the front there. Getting into the knife. So this one's quite a little bit different. Different style, shape, handle and blade. I do like this knife. I was going to pick it because it's camo. Because I've got a really big fetish for camo. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately it's got a serrated blade. So... That's why I went with the black one. And I think the black one's got a slightly longer blade, maybe. Let's have a look at this one here. With the steel being the same as the K25 range, with the 7CR17MOV steel there, here are the stats for those on the, uh, the steel app. Quite some noticeable differences here. So the stainless steel titanium coated brand, is still the same however your blade is um, quite different so we've got the serrations on the bottom here uh, some people like it some people don't I'm, I'm not a big fan um, people like it for cutting rope and just getting some sort of aggressive little cutting actions or something there I'm just not into it I just prefer a smoother blade so we have a drop point in here and it also thins out at the top there <clears throat> we've got some jimping that comes all the way up here and down the spine quite a fair way there so you can get some really good real estate on there and um, it's going to help you just choke up on it and get some fine work done some really interesting bolsters here the, the whole style of this knife is really good i like it it's um it's different you know uh, the handle here has that that same rubber coating on it so something I really like about these knives and as you can see it's quite a different style as well but that's really comfortable to sit in the hand there uh, it does taper down in here which is really good and it just fits really nice and when you're holding on to that I could probably see a bit of a hot spot happening here with this jimping as uh, right in here it just bites in a little bit um, so if you're if you're swinging that you're probably going to get uh, a bit of a hot spot on the top there so let's go over some specs here <clears throat> the model number on this one is 32073 so that's the number that you want to quote when you give Les a message uh, at Bloodvane Industries for that uh, for that knife uh, the blade length is 12.7 centimeters. The blade thickness is 5 mil all up. It does have some tapers and stuff in there. The measurement full length is 25 centimeters. So yeah, another really cool knife from Albinox through Bloodvein Industries. Go and check out Bloodvein Industries website. I'll leave a link in the description. Also check out their Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, 
go and check out those other platforms as well. Patreon's going to really help me to get some better equipment so I can make these videos better for you guys. So your patronism is really, really going to help me and I really appreciate it. So I've already got one. Thank you to who you are. <laughs> so uh, first $3 subscriber the other day. So thank you very much for your support. So there you have it. More knives to come. So until the next one, I'll see you later.